to Chelsea Career Mode in the AFC Rebuild Episode 2. This episode is going to be even more intense than the last episode because we are playing some big teams up until the international break. Time this the 28-year-old Manuel Acogne and um I feel like this is going to be very good. He could play with us for like a few years. He's going to help us so much if he gets to like 83, 84 overall. So they want Lo Celso, but so they want Lo Celso and 5 million, but I'm going to counter this because I don't want to get rid of Lo Celso just yet. Celso, all from Caicedo, honestly, because we don't really look at the bench that much, Chelsea. We got a Kanye, but sadly, the transfer window is not open, so he can't actually come to us until the end of the season. Now we're going to focus on a goalkeeper. I know Sanchez has been playing good, but that's 79. I, don't, I just don't want that sitting for a Premier League goalkeeper. Think about playing Man City with that guy in goal. No way. We are not winning. We are bringing in Jose Antonio Rodriguez at goalkeeper. He is a 72, but I know his potential is crazy, and he's going to upgrade a ton. And if he doesn't, then we're going to throw Sanchez back at goalie. Playing Aston Villa and... Martinez is going to be a real struggle for Nkuku, I feel like, so we're just going to, I'm just going to take a ton of shots with Nkuku and Sokka and everyone at attack because Martinez might be the reason we do not win this game. And Diaby on the wing, like that man is quick. Isasi has just scored a bicycle kick in the first few minutes and they say it is a goal. It did not fully hit the net, but it, it just hit the crossbar and then down. But they're calling it a goal, 1-0. Villa score in stoppage time in the 91st minute to make it 1-1. And we only come away with a draw, I think. Now we are playing Fulham, the team that beat us 5-3 in the Carabao Cup. It is time for revenge. Revenge just broke apart as Fulham's winning 1-0 now. Oh, crap. Uku gets a goal back. 1-1. One, one. Look at this. Just a good ball from Lo Celso and an easy tap in for Nkuku. Oh, my gosh. Fulham scores in the 76 minutes. It's 2-1 to one now. I swear, if we do not get three points and win from this game, I'm going to just be so mad. We gain nothing by losing 2-1 to one because our attack just won't freaking kick the ball. Up down to 8th in the league. This is horrible. Since we're 8th in the league, he, I mean, Rodriguez has just been conceding too much, so we're going to put back Sanchez. We need this man. And who's already scored a bicycle this season. Disa C scores another bicycle kick from a corner. This time it's not decided by VAR. What a goal. 1-0 up against Burnley. Celsio scores that's why you do not transfer that man to a different club because he is a gem, a gem in this club. He is so freaking good, and it's 2-0 quick. Who scores in the 75th minute to close the game? 3-0. Just gets wide open space. Burnley's defense can't do crap, and they just score. We win 3-0 and take the three points. We are playing Arsenal, and we're going to have to sign a free agent if we want to win this game versus Arsenal. Just looking at our squad, you know that we need a freaking center back. I know DCC has been playing insane, but that 49 pace is the reason we lose against Fulham and the great teams like that. So, I will be... Putting in Fofana. For this game versus Arsenal, I'm going to be putting in Fofana. And yeah. Here it is. The most important game of our season this year. Chelsea versus Arsenal. Win this game, we get three points and a spot probably in the top three of the Premier League. 0-0 zero, zero in Arsenal versus Chelsea, and I'm subbing out Fofana because he does have a yellow card, and I do not want to give him to, don't want him to get a red card. So, I'm putting in DCC. We've just let Arsenal score off of a freaking, just a little goalkeeper mistake. 
How? How does that happen? He just lets it slowly go through. Seed 2 0 in the late late minutes of the game from uh, Jesus. So it's 2 0. We lost. Playing Brentford and we have to win. Enzo scores a header. Ooh, just towering over the defender for Brentford. 1 0. Sterling scores. Both missed. And then he just gets that off the goalie. Sterling. That might be his first goal of the season, but it's 2 0. Dub two to zero. It's gonna give us three points to go up in the league. Playing the Spurs to get in the top four of the Premier League, and I'm starting Mudrick. It's really dumb, but I'm gonna do it. Rick scores early versus Tottenham. No way. If I never sub this man in, I do not know what would have happened. Look at this goal just from the left, just bangs it up the top. Oh my gosh, Mudrick. First goal of the season in literally his first three minutes. Tottenham scores and it's 1-1. Also scores a tap-in to make it 2-1. Let's go. I do not care if it's a tap-in. I don't care if it's a free kick. But it's a goal. So, and Cuckoo just crosses it through and boom. 2-1 up against one of the best clubs in England. Gallagher, the former Chelsea player, ties it up 2-2. Cuckoo scores. Look at that ball by Saka and boom, a volley. Who scores again with a crazy assist by Mudrich. <laughs> this is insane. We're winning 3-2 now in one touch. And Cuckoo just gets there for the finish. 4-2, sorry. And we win the game 4-2. Let's go. After a 4 2 win against Spurs, next episode we play Man City, where I will be starting Mudric and keeping Sterling on the bench to see. Just, just sub him in if we need him. But next episode, we will be playing Manchester City, our first game.